when you want to get logs from Cloudflare into QReader, you can do it via S3 buckets. I have done several examples of that. Again, the disadvantage of the S3 bucket is that uh, you have to pay those integration charges. Or you can configure your log push in Cloudflare to send those to QReader via HTTP receiver, which is a great protocol. Very similar to Syslog, but Syslog goes on port 514 and it's in a specific protocol for that. This one has the advantage of using your standard HTTP POST and QReader will receive those logs. So I grab these, I copy it into the clipboard. Let me go into the QReader console to show you what I did. So we can actually see, let me bring this up a bit. Basically what I'm doing is using the curl to send those as a standard POST in QReader, that's the IP address of my QReader box. That's the port that I define the log source for Cloudflare. And I simply paste the content that we find in here all the way here until the very end of it. Let me bring it back up until here. That's all it takes. Let me exit that and we go to the Curita console to replay those logs. We're executing that batch file. It may take a few seconds to get here. And here we have them very nicely parsed. To define the parser is as simple as let me go into the admin console. Let's go to the log source manager and look for the log source that I added. And here it is. I'm going to edit it. So I gave it a name to call the defaults in here. In the protocol, I selected HTTP receiver and I put the actual port this one because I had already defined the 12469 which is the default starting port for HTTP receiver logs. Maybe it is best if I start adding a new one. Let me cancel here, add a new log source and select here Cloudflare select the protocol type and here you see we can get S3 buckets standard syslog HTTP receiver so this is the one I selected and when you do that you need to give it a name. I'm going to do it here just to move to the next screen. And in here is where you need to select the port. Notice that the default starting port for HTTP receiver ends in 6.9 and I put 17 here. That's all it is. It's very simple. Uh, what I'll do in the next video of this short HTTP series of two videos is I'll show how I create a parser a DS, using the DSM editor for some logs that I'm receiving via HTTP receiver that I don't have a parser for.